they did some mining and I guess they had a really large rock quarry there was uh they grew grapes and uh have a few wineries in fact there's a winery there I guess over 100 years old a winery yes yeah, a winery it's kind of a place that people go to party and you can rent a golf cart so I've always wanted to drive a golf cart you've never driven a golf cart I think we're in for a treat. So uh, yeah, we're heading to uh, Kelly's Island in Lake Erie, which is the quieter of the party islands. And right now we're going through Ohio on our way to the ferry. I am the Viking. I am Poppins. Channel's Restless Viking. Let's go have an adventure. Hello. Hi. Two dollars in the car? Yep. Island doing a little perimeter tour. I love all the names of the cottages that people pick out. Renting a golf cart. Who's gonna drive? I will be driving. And I'll be riding. Because I can't see. And she won't rent it to me. Yeah. <laughs> parking brake. To let off that parking brake, press the gas pedal. Just rented a golf cart from the general store. Very nice young lady that helped us out. Well. Just push it. Alright. <laughs> She's a master. <laughs> oh, God. I almost got an accident. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there's turn signal. <laughs> This is turning out pretty fun. So off we go. Poppins is just getting a feel of this vehicle. Checking at the state park campground wasn't until 3 p.m. So Poppins and I parked the Jeep and drove the cart to a few landmarks to get a lay of the land. Well, this is fun. <laughs> it is. All right, it's been two minutes and I think Poppins has the hang of it. The Islanders mentioned a lighthouse to check out. It was more of a decoration, but it stood on Camp Patmos, a Christian camp dating back to the 20s. Oh yeah, you're right. So the runway is short enough and uh, the approach is right here in the end of the runway. So you have to stop and look both ways for aviation traffic. We're hanging out at the Kelly's Island Airport, which is pretty cool. There's the approach area, the road, the runway end lights, and the runway. This goes down to the water. Used to be a bathroom. The Charles Herndon Sculpture Park and Mosquito Garden. I'm not an educated appreciator of art, but this sculpture park tells stories, like great art should. Not only do you start to understand the man behind the works, but you start to reflect on yourself here. Charles Herndon strikes me as a teacher, a storyteller, and an artist who is deeply influenced by the island, and a woman or two. It is everything a good sculpture park should be. There's Poppins heading to the state park to check in. Here's our setup. It's really lovely. It's been a constant rumble for eight minutes, ten minutes. Here's Poppins. Hey, I've battened down the hatches and I have on my rain slicker. Oh, and I have a Diet Dr. Pepper from my favorite guy. We're in the thick of it, Poppins. And then the sun came out and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout. 
again. After setting up camp and waiting out the thunderstorms, we headed to see some sights. Our first stop was the glacial grooves. These grooves were carved about 18,000 years ago by the massive weight and movement of the Laurentide ice sheet. While the quarry operations on the island removed most of the island's grooves, these were preserved. In 1972, the soil and debris that hid the grooves was excavated. Today, this 35 foot by 400 foot exhibit also shows fossils from 350 to 400 million years ago. Fossil. Glacial grooves, now we're going to head to the crusher. Mario Ann Poppins is uh, driving. We're at the rock crusher, part of the quarry operations for the limestone. Limestone mining began on the island in 1830. Datis and Irit Kelly began purchasing land in 1833 despite the claim of a French Canadian, Ben Napier that he owned the island through squatter's rights. The Kelly brothers would eventually own the entire island of just under 2,900 acres. In 1840, they renamed Cunningham Island as Kelly's Island. The Kelly's Island Lime and Transport Company eventually claimed itself to be the largest producer of limestone and lime products in the world. Obviously a maintenance building for the state park. Got an engine hanging up there. Cleveland Museum of Natural History. Today, forests are steadily reclaiming the island, but the massive quarries and evidence of their operations still exist. Clear it out. Well, they kind of the ropes to be able to pull yourself back up. Yeah, they don't wave on this island like they do other islands in the Great Lakes. So now we're at the village pump. And uh, I guess they're famous for their perch and the drink Brandy Alexander. So we're going to split a Brandy Alexander, right, Poppins? So uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. What do you think, Poppins, too? It's like Christmas. It is. I got the basic chicken club, which is not a big deal, but Poppins over here. Wow. And I got chicken salad. So I thought Kelly's Island would be boring, that there wouldn't be anything to do, but there's plenty to do. It's a lot of fun here, plus I've been driving a golf cart. So as it turns out, Poppins is a big fan of the Brandy Alexander. And it's delicious, and then the lady sitting next to us gave us the recipe of how to make them at home, so not a monster. We're at the uh, state campground now. So uh, we're gonna head back to the campsite, grab some supplies, supplies, and then we're going to uh, head over to the, what's it called? It's the 4-H campground, and they have a bunch of VW vans. Yep. It's gonna be cool. So I don't know if you can see, but the original overlanders of the world, they're all over the place here. My name is Rich. Rich? Nice to meet if you, If you Rich. look at me, you can tell him rich right well of course right <laughs> tell me your names rich even offered us his recent harvest for dinner but we politely declined as he seemed to be looking forward to his shaggy manes it was what you might expect from a group of vw vagabonds friendly curious people willing to share those interesting life stories that travelers tell So this is called the North Pond Nature Preserve, and uh, it's one of uh, a few remaining wetlands, coastal wetlands in existence. It's never been diked or banked or modified in any way by people. So it's one of the few pristine wetlands that you can find um, anymore. In this wetland right now, as we walk through, you can hear the waves of Lake Erie just past the Barrier Beach. And the Barrier Beach is pretty unique in itself, too. But sometimes this gets inundated, depending on water level and wave action. So this is Barrier Beach. Kelly's Island is a damaged place with scars from glaciers and mining, like a lot of places and people in the world. That gives it a unique personality, just like a lot of humans. It is also healing, a place where you can heal from the noise and toil of the mainland. 
Yeah, it has its own noise and busy, but you can listen to the stories and lives of the travelers. In quiet places, you can hear the voices of the past. In those places, you can heal too. It's another Great Lakes Island where you can find unhindered lives, or find peace, or even inspiration. Nowhere did it say no motorized vehicles did it pop in. No, and it looks like someone else has come down here before. Well, that concludes our adventure on Kelly's Island. We did find a lot of stuff to do, and especially if you like the party. It's a fun place, and there's a sculpture park. Glacial grooves, and an abandoned building, and lots of seashore, and a fair amount of people. But uh, check out the festivals before you go. Check out what's going to be happening on uh, Kelly's Island. If you can, do a little research, and you may just have a good time. So, Absolutely. So now we're on, the, we're on the busy ferry home. It gets busy here, so plan accordingly.